Alistair here with All Spar Repairs in the Hot Tub Shop. I'm just hooking up a hot tub right now. I thought I'd take a chance to talk to you guys a little bit about dip switches. Uh, different hot tubs are different styles. Some, there's literally just these little tiny switches on the board that you can move up and down that will give you different options on your circuit board. Uh, some of them have little pins that you remove and then move them left and right to get different actions. Uh, why is this important to you? Well, let's say you bought a replacement circuit board online and you're trying to install it into your hot tub. You want to make sure that the settings that the new board has are the same as what your old one has. Or if you have uh, different amperages available in your uh, breaker. So some hot tubs can work off 30 amps, 40 amps, or 50 amps. And then depending on which way you set the dip switch will determine what kind of action you get out of your spa pack. And uh, I'm just going to show you here some schematics on the inside of one of my hot tubs and try to point out on the board what you're looking for. And if you need that information for yourself in the future, well, you're welcome. So on your schematics here, you'll notice that right up here, you'll see one to six kind of in the middle there. It's showing you these little switches. The second one there looks like it's in the on position. And then from there, you can compare that to a chart over here. And so we have switches numbered one through six. And you can see here, uh, test mode is typically something that you would use if you're a technician or the main factory. Uh, the next one down is allowing me to either add a, you know, for my heater to come on while I'm running pump one on high speed. If I have the switch in the on position, allows my heater to come on. But right now, currently, if I have a second motor running on high speed, you'll notice that the switch for number three is off, meaning that when my heater comes on, my pump turns off. So these are different little things that you can do with these dip switches. And right here on the circuit board, way in the back, all the way up top here, you'll see we have six little switches. And of course they look different on every single hot tub and different circuit boards have different looking switches. But that is essentially what a dip switch is and why you'd use one. Now keep in mind that different spa packs have different looking switches and different ways of doing it, but that's essentially what they are, what they're used for, and on your schematics, either on the inside of the lid of your spa pack or on a separate little piece of paper that came with it, you should be able to find information on how they work and what they do. Um, you can typically also look up online the model of your spa pack to get the information you need. But that's exactly what they are and what they're used for, and if you need that information, there you go.